Okay, we're going to look at how we can fill out this Excel spreadsheet uh, when we are talking about uh, watching the workflow through the wheel and axle, the pedal, the front sprocket, to the rear sprocket, to the rear tire. How does the force, distance, torque, theta of the original pedal motion translate to the rear tire? And what kind of mechanical advantage and distance gain do we get? Uh, and again, this is meant to help you learn Excel. So some things that we're given, we're given that the front pedal is, uh, the pressure on the front pedal is 60 pounds. The front pedal itself is eight inches long, the pedal itself. The front sprocket is five, inch, was five inches in radius. Uh, the front pedal is eight inches radius. The front sprocket is five. The rear sprocket is two inch radius and the rear tire is 14. We're just gonna take uh, two times pi because we're gonna need that since we'll be in radians. So we just have that. Uh, I'm only going to make one revolution and so therefore theta is how many times I turn it is the angle in radians and I'm just gonna leave that at two pi. Also one thing I can do since I'm gonna use theta a lot, I can come up here and change the cell name from B11 to theta. That way when I refer to it uh, in other places, I can just refer to it as theta. So the first thing we're going to do is simply take the force of the pedal. We're gonna just go like this and say the force of the pedal is 60 pounds. The distance the pedal travels in one revolution would be theta. Well, here we have the formula theta equals distance divided by radius. So what we're going to do is we're going to take theta times the radius of the pedal to figure out the linear distance. So I'm going to say equals theta times and then the radius of the front sprocket. So we've got that. So in one revolution, the pedal travels roughly 50, 50 inches. The torque is the force times the radius. So I'm going to say this equals the force of the pedal times the radius, which is that. So we get that. And theta is simply what I've got down here. So I do one revolution. Okay, so now I can figure out, well, how much rotational work did I do? Rotational work is torque times theta. So I can say torque times theta, boom. And uh, how much wor linear work did I do? Linear work is force times distance. And it's no surprise, both of those turn out to be the same amount of work. Okay, so now <clears throat> this whole front part, the pedal to the front sprocket is a wheel and axle. So when we have a wheel and axle, torque and theta are the same and force and distance gets changed. So from the front sprocket to the, uh, from the pedal to the front sprocket, torque and theta stay the same. And now I have to calculate a new force and distance. So again, torque, well, I've got that. Okay, so what new distance did the front sprocket travel? So again, I'm gonna say theta times radius but the radius will this time will be of the front sprocket. So theta times the front sprocket's radius. I get that. And what, what was the force? Force, again, uh, I'm gonna simply say force will be torque divided by the radius. So I'm gonna say this equals torque divided by the radius of the front sprocket. And if you'll notice now, I have, uh, as is 
what happens when you have a wheel and axle. I now have a force multiplier. I started out with 60 pounds and now I the front sprocket is generating 96 pounds of force. However, I'm not moving as far as you can see from here. Also too, I wanted to display to the user that these two things are the same. So I'm going to simply modify, make sure that these colors, whoops, wrong thing. I didn't want that, I wanted this. Okay, I'm showing that these two things are the same. Now, when we transfer the force from the front sprocket to the rear sprocket, this time force and distance are the same. So I don't generate any new force from the front to the rear. It is the same force. So again, I'm going to copy my force and distance. The chain simply transfers the force from the front sprocket to the rear sprocket. So, and again, to help the user, I'm going to color these the same. Just to let them know these two things are the same. Okay, now I have to calculate uh, also too. Um, I'm going to simply, now what I'm doing is I'm copy, copying the formula for work and uh, work, work in rotational and linear systems. I'm still, if you will, if you hit F2, you always find out what you're multiplying. So here, once again, I'm still multiplying torque times theta of the front sprocket and force times distance of the rear sprocket. It should come as no surprise that my total work in, uh, stays the same as it should. Energy in always equals energy out. So I'm ideally transferring the same amount of energy from the front to the rear sprocket and so on and so forth. So, um, okay, now it is, uh, now that uh, my force and distance are, are transferred from the front to the rear sprocket, it is up to the student to now calculate what is the new torque and theta. This time, you're going to use the radius of the rear sprocket to calculate the new torque and theta and as a sanity check, you should be able to, once you copy this, uh, your torques and thetas should be the same. Okay, that would be your sanity check. Since I've already transferred this, obviously my work is still the same from the front. But when you calculate your new torque and theta, you should get the same amount of work. Then last but not least, you're going to, um, again, let's just, these two things, again, since we're talking about the rear tire being an, the last wheel and axle, torque and theta will be transferred from the rear sprocket to the rear tire. You, the student, calculate the final, um, force and distance that the rear tire generates. The mechanical advantage is the force out. It would be this divided by that. And then the distance gain would simply be the reciprocal of that. Okay, uh, so that'll be part one. How do we do the mechanical, how do we show the energy transfer from the pedal, force of the pedal, all the way to the rear tire. Okay, so hope that helps. We'll see you later.